whenever an African American is pursuing academic success, there's an automatic pressure that comes with that. Because you have to see it like this. If an African American is doing well academically in school, it actually goes against the culture. Because the culture more or less say, go to school, act up, don't do your best, and just try to make it through. But someone who is doing well academically is seen as someone who is acting white. And the acting white phenomena more or less says that if you come from my neighborhood and you're doing well academically and you're acting white, I really have nothing to do with you. I'm really not going to support you. And we call that crabs in the basket. Okay, and this is one of the social pressures faced by an African-American male. He's pursuing high school and he does well. He then goes on to college to become a teacher. He then gets his certification. Where is he going to live? Is he going to live in the same neighborhood that he came out of? Of course he isn't. He's going to move to a neighborhood that is consistent with the amount of income that he's making, which will be substantial as a result of becoming a profession and a middle class person. And so those who were a part of his community are pretty much saying, you are betraying us because you're getting these things and then you're going and using your skills and talents somewhere else. The same does not apply to an athlete because if an athlete is from your community and that person does well, there is still a connection. For instance, Le LeBron James is from Ohio. Anyone from his community says, whenever LeBron James scores a basket, so do they. When he dunks, they dunk. When he wins, they win. But there is not that connect with someone who is doing well academically because you just see that person as someone who is trying to get out of the neighborhood and not come back and make a contribution. Now, for African Americans, that pressure is always there, especially when they return home during the summers and they're now trying to hold a conversation with someone who is not going to college. What are they going to speak about? And all. The person feels a sense of jealousy because they're doing a better job than they, sense of income is greater, and that's why we call it crabs in the basket. Here's the behavior. We take you down to the Boston, we take you down to the Baltimore Harbor for a good old crab roast, okay? Fresh, succulent crabs. In order for those crabs to be fresh and succulent, they have to be boiled alive. And so when the bushel is taken off of the top of that basket, the behavior of the crabs is to climb out. The crab that gets to the top of the bushel is then pulled down by the other crabs. Instead of the crab saying, yeah, man, I'm happy for you. Go on and get out of here and don't get eaten alive. It's like, come down here because if I'm going to get eaten alive, so are you. And so it's really going to take the person to overcome that kind of social pressure and say, I'm going to be able to help the other crabs more if I get out of this situation.